Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another full day of eating. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today, like with so many days in the summer, I'm starting the morning off in the garden. So I'm just doing some watering, seeing how everything's coming in. We've got some tomatoes, some beautiful summer squash, a zucchini coming in as well. So I don't know about you guys, but I live for the summer. I absolutely love these warm summer months and we only get a handful of them up here in British Columbia, Canada. So I do try and squeeze as much out of each day as I can. And today should be no exception. Hopefully we're gonna have a fun day and I'm excited to share it with you guys. Uh, so I'm starting off here just with some fruit. So I just came in from doing all that in the garden and uh, I just need some quick energy before heading to the gym. So I just cut up some banana and I've also got some golden kiwi. So I don't know why it took me so long to discover how good these are but uh, if you guys haven't tried them and you have a choice between getting these and the green ones give the gold ones a try I think you'd be pleasantly surprised and something that I feel like I don't mention enough is the importance of proper hydration especially in the morning I always get so excited to share with you guys like the delicious food and different recipes and stuff that I feel like I neglect talking about hydration a little bit. So definitely when you first wake up, try and drink a big glass of water. If you like warm water, cool. Cold water, that's fine. Room temperature is probably the best, but uh, whatever kind of water you like, just get it in you. I mean, we haven't drank water for, you know, seven, eight hours, hopefully if you're sleeping that long. So um, yeah, rehydrate first and then carry on, do your other things. All right, so I'm gonna sit down, eat the rest of this, fuel up, head to the gym shortly, and uh, yeah, thanks guys for hanging out. I'm excited to share the day with you. I'll try and make it interesting, try and make the recipes amazing. So you guys know the idea with these videos is to hopefully inspire and motivate you to eat a little bit healthier, a little bit plant-based, if you're already there. Hopefully I give you some ideas on different things that you could eat. And if you don't need any ideas, hopefully a little bit of entertainment, you know? And I'm definitely gonna try and do that today. We'll try and get out on some adventures because it is absolutely beautiful outside. Like. It is so good out there. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this, get to the gym. I will see you guys there, should be fun. Oh, look at that. So I just got home from the workout and no surprise here, I made myself a nice smoothie. So I know you guys are kind of bored of it, some of you at least, you told me in the comments, but this is part of my success, is just being like painfully consistent. So uh, let me jump back into the kitchen and back in time and show you guys how I made this. A few nice ripe spotty bananas, about a cup and a half of frozen blueberries, a handful of greens, today's mixed lettuce, got about two tablespoons of flaxseed, a nice big medjool date, and some protein powder and creatine. So what I've got here is Viva Life's Ritual plant-based protein. The vanilla flavor goes so well in this smoothie. And then I've also got some creatine monohydrate from them as well. So most of you know this already, but we're always getting new subscribers to the channel. So I am an ambassador for Viva Life, but I do love their products. That's why I support them and use their products every day and sometimes spill them. <laughs> so uh, if you guys want to check out the products, there's always a link in the description box down below. Use my discount code Derek10 for 10% off on your first purchase. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So Crystal's just um, in the kitchen. She's getting a few things ready because we're gonna be heading out shortly after this on an adventure, right Crystal? Yeet, yeet. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get out there. Bring you guys along, but I have to prepare something in the kitchen first because you guys know I always like to bring a little snack when I go out on an adventure. So <laughs> that's what I'll be doing when I've done this. And we'll see you guys out there. Look at you looking so cute in your little summer dress, <laughs> your little hat. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go swimming today. Are you actually? I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So that is news to me. I knew you put your bathing suit on, but I didn't know you were planning on maybe going in the water. 
That's a huge step. Uh, see, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go for a little dip in the river. I know this little amazing swimming hole that I found uh, last week when I was up here with my buddy. So can't wait to show you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get in this ice cold water. It's cold. I see some people in I know. Spot. So I don't know if you can see them, but there's some people at my swimming hole and I'm trying to not be upset about it but we're like so far out here I don't even know how those people know about this so we're gonna try and keep going up river hopefully we can find something more private <laughs> it's like super rugged in here hey eh? yeah <laughs> all right so we found another little opening here let's see how good this spot is ah uh, not as good. Mm -hmm. Man, why do those people have to be having fun on the day that I want to have fun? Here, let's go up a little further. Do you mind? No. Okay, so, huh, I'm trying to get down there. Watch out. Thank you. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, actually. All right, so I think we found a little swimming hole. How does it look, Crystal? It looks good. It looks cool. I don't know why, but like the running water, I'm like, oh goodness, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> wow, it's uh, so are you nice here. I'm filming. I'm filming you <laughs> filming. Look at this. There's like a big like hole right I here. Know. I bet you this water is gonna be warm. Oh, it's still pretty cold. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? Say that again. We should film ourselves jumping right in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so cold. <laughs> it's your suggestion. So you guys will have to let us know if you're like cold water people because I don't know, I can do it when it's like nice like this and it's hot out and it's just like beautiful and I want to experience everything but like, uh, yeah, I'm not naturally drawn to cold water, that's for sure. I know you don't even have to answer. 100% no. 100% <laughs> no. But it looks very inviting so I think, and I know you had a really fun time last time with your buddy down here. It was so. super refreshing, yeah. I came down here not too long ago with my friend and yeah, we Kinda, were... You know, have a little FOMO over here, you know, so I want to try. Ha! Okay, hold on. Woo! It's so cold! No, just do a little bit, just do, do your ankles, maybe to your shins, and then just see how you do. You got it, babe, you got it. Oh my, my, my ankles are numb. I know, they stopped working, <laughs> I know! <laughs> not fast, not fast, slow. There you go. I don't know how people swim in this. Holy. Breathe, 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 breathe. <laughs> you're good, you're good, you're good. But it's not that bad. Once you try it, once. It's bad, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is like just the perfect size for me. <laughs> it's actually so nice and warm. <laughs> this is amazing. Ah. Nice little, nice little rock pool there. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. All right, what do you what do you all rate, oh. rate that dive? Ooh. I rate that maybe a six out of ten, to be honest. Oh. You, you didn't you, you had a big splash there, babe. <laughs> I was trying not to go too the, deep. The, the, the toes were not pointed. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa. oh man, I definitely hit the bottom. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You're okay. It's not it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's like, no, it's, it's not. Like not that bad. It's like a hot spring, but cold. <laughs> Wow. It's so cold. Wow. People swimming. People are swimming in the cold water. Get out there. Look at her go. Whoa. Holy. And that's that's how you sim hop. <laughs> that is the nice way to go. Yeah, that was the sim hop method oh, if I've man. ever seen my, it. Uh, my limbs don't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. The ankles do get a little stiff. Like <laughs> yeah. when you're in there, you're like, "Wow, I'm doing it. I'm doing it." And then you get out, and you're like, "That wasn't that bad." No. Nice. This is so nice here. This actually worked out well because I didn't know about this spot and those people were in the other spot and I got kind of upset, but uh, now we even found a better spot. What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, nothing. But I was like, yo, I can't believe I swam in that. Like, I was, I was in that, you know? I was, I was having a little moment. I was like, I, I saw. I, I was like, I conquered this. <laughs> we were watching. Ferns are so nice. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh. All right, let's have a snack. <laughs> you guys know I love bringing a little snack when I go out into the forest, and uh, today we brought a little lunch, so it's a bit more than a snack. 
So let me show you guys what we have here. All right, so first of all, we've got ourselves a salad here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, some lettuce leaves because we're actually having some lettuce wraps. Such a nice, easy thing to have when you're out. And uh, so we've just got some filling here. Show you guys what this is. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, it does look really good. So here's what's in here. And then I also made a little dressing for it as well because nobody likes a dry lettuce wrap. So uh, yeah, I made this before we came out, obviously, because it's made here, uh, but I recorded what we made. So uh, yeah, we'll pop back in the kitchen. I'll tell you guys how I made this. So I'm gonna be utilizing some leftover rice that we have for this. So I'm just gonna scoop some of this into a big bowl. And then I'm just gonna add some chopped veggies. I've got some onion, some purple cabbage, some red bell pepper, and some corn. And then I just defrosted some frozen green peas. So I'm gonna add those too. A can of lentils. And then I'm just gonna make a really quick sauce for this. So this is a really standard tahini sauce that I always make, you guys know this. So just a bunch of tahini, a little splash of maple syrup. Of course you could use a date or something, but you'd have to blend it. A splash of apple cider vinegar. And then just some seasoning. I'm just gonna use this organic no salt seasoning today. It's really simple, but you know, you could mix anything you want in there. Garlic powder, onion powder is always a good option. And then just a pinch or two of salt. Gonna help bring out all those flavors, and make it really delicious. Small splash of water. Do you want me to get the lettuce? Uh, yeah, you get the out lettuce out, I will serve it up. Are you, are we meant to wrap these or just eat it kind of like no, a taco? No, just like a taco, I guess. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. I wasn't sure, cause I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to wrap it. <laughs> no, that would be hard. I'm spilling everywhere, but that's all right. The little sea creatures will like it. <laughs> the, 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 the river, river creatures. That sounds freaky, though. I know. It's so good. The dressing. Yeah, I know. I think the dressing will be the best part. Hmm. <laughs> We're just like sitting here on this like mossy ledge. Wait, what's that? Looking out over a beautiful waterfall. Is that? Is that Sasquatch? Baby, you scared me. There's something moving. Yeah. Right there. Oh, is it? Yes, there is. I don't see right. that. I know, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> don't prank a prankster, guys. That is one life lesson that you should learn. I'm surprised Crystal hasn't learned that yet. All right, so I think that's probably the end of this adventure. You killed it, babe, getting in the water like that. I didn't think I was ever gonna see the day, so I'm super proud of you, that is amazing. We're gonna have to come back. So we came, we swam, I jumped in, I hit the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we ate some amazing food, got some sun. Man, we did it all. Oh, it's quite the mission to get out of here. So I had fun, thanks Crystal. It was coming. super fun, I like yeah. that spot. I like it too. My whole thing lately has been making memories. That's what I always say now, hey? I'm yeah. always like, let's go out, let's make some memories. And I don't know, I just think that's like such a cool thing to, to think about. So Crystal thinks that these trees here remind her of my beard. <laughs> I think it's time I, mean, I trim my beard. They're uh, you know, like a little shaggy, <laughs> but they look very nice. Like it's like it's like shaggy but like trimmed, you know? Like it's just it's maintained. It's nice. I like it. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we got home not too long ago and it's dinner time, but I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I'm not gonna lie. So I don't want to make anything too extravagant, uh, but this is, you know, pretty typical to how I will cook some days. You know, I'm not always making everything from scratch. So uh, what I am gonna have, so this is actually so exciting. Um, so I've just been like marinating this tofu in this buffalo sauce. So I don't know if this is like hard to find or what, but this is the first time that I've seen it and it's um, Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce and it doesn't sound like it would be very vegan but it definitely is i read the ingredients over many times yep no nope, definitely is and it is really good oh my gosh wow i haven't had buffalo in so long <laughs> yeah so we just found this at the store today actually we were just going to grab some tofu because i know i wanted this for dinner um, but i didn't know what i wanted to put on it and as soon as i saw that i was like holy yeah we're having buffalo tofu tonight so uh, i just marinated this really quickly as you guys can see here just use that quick marinade technique that i use i know i've showed you a few times so i won't explain it 
and you can see as well. So I'm gonna grill this, and this is actually new for us. You guys haven't seen this yet on the channel, but we got a griddler. This is a, <laughs> ow, friggin' it's burning me. <laughs> so it's on, so I gotta be careful. But this is the griddler by Cuisinart, and it was actually sent to me by one of you guys. I know, I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Uh, and I guess it's probably for my burritos that I'm always kind of grilling on, you know, the pan, but this does such a better job. So I think it's gonna be really nice for this tofu. Oh yeah. All right, and then while that's cooking, I'm gonna also make up some of this chickpea fusilli. I'm gonna boil that. I've already got the water boiling over here. All right, let's see how these are doing. Oh wow, yeah, they are looking. Definitely want to see some grill marks on here though. So maybe I gotta turn it up. I don't know. So here's a trick I like to do just before the pasta is finished cooking. I just like dump in a bunch of frozen veggies, and uh, it's, yeah, nice and simple. It's a good way to get more veggies in you. You don't have to dirty another pot. Hard to know how much you put in though. I think that's probably good. <laughs> a little more. All right, so everything's pretty much done. Just gotta put it all together. Um, I'm actually going to add some sauce to this too. So I think you guys have seen me use this before, but I'm gonna be putting this queso sauce on here and look at the ingredients. They're actually just so good. But if you guys wanna try this and you haven't found it around where you live, I actually have a video on how to make this sauce. I know, I replicated it. It's pretty good. It's not exactly the same, but equally as good, I would say. But not as easy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dump some of this in here. It's gonna be really nice with the pasta. So I guess what I made here is like kind of a healthy version of mac and cheese. Got some veggies in there, got that high protein pasta. Yeah, this is gonna be a good dinner. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, plate it all. I'm gonna put a little bit of salad on the plate. You guys know I always like to have some greens with my meal. All right, <laughs> not my best work, but it's not bad. It's gonna be a good dinner. It's supposed to be quick and easy, so that's what we're going for. And then I also made some salad dressing. This is literally the exact same dressing that uh, we had at lunch there. So it's just too good. You can't beat it. So I just make it all the time. And then we got Crystal over here taking pictures of it, pretending like she made it. <laughs> Putting it on her Instagram. <laughs> all right, so it's all done. Let's try it out. I'm definitely going to try the tofu first. I mean, who am I kidding? <laughs> wow. Definitely gonna get that buffalo sauce in the heavy rotation for sure. All right, let's hit this healthy mac and cheese. Oh yeah, that's good too. Well, you know, a little more sauce though. So. All right, can't forget about the salad. Mmm, so good. Man, that tahini dressing, nothing beats it. All right, so on that note, I think it's probably the end of this video. I'm gonna go and eat this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me all day. Uh, if you got something out of it, if I gave you some ideas, maybe motivated you, inspired you, made you smile, entertained you, definitely hit the like button. It helps me out so much. Subscribe so we can meet again, and I will see you guys soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. Primal Kitchen. Who thought Primal Kitchen would come through with the smoking vegan buffalo sauce, eh? Yeah, maybe paleo ain't so bad after all. If this is what they're eating, you can get down.